Tumult Hype is the HTML5 animation builder for Mac OS X. In this video, I'll cover what's changed in version 1.5. We'll explore 25 features in 10 minutes. Let's begin. Number 1. Icon Refresh The first thing you'll likely notice is we've updated the Tumult Hype icon to represent an animator's light box. Number 2. Zooming this was our most requested feature, so you'll be happy to know with version 1.5, you can zoom out to get a better view of large documents and zoom in for more control. Number three, iBooks author exporting. Tumult Hype is a great way for publishers to make interactive graphics for textbooks. All you need to do is export as a dashboard slash iBooks author widget. In the iBooks author program, you can then insert an HTML widget. Choose the file that Tumult Hype exported, and you'll have an interactive graphic inside your textbook really easily. Number four, redesigned animation interface. Element and property keyframe editing on the timeline is now separated. The result is you'll get a better view of the animation at a glance and spend less time manipulating the list to edit keyframes for specific properties. From the element timeline, you can manipulate keyframes as a group, such as moving them or scaling them proportionately. If you'd like to get a view of different properties that you can animate, you can do so from the properties pop-up menu. Let's say we'd like to add a rotation to this. Do so by adding the rotation property and then setting the keyframes using the per property add keyframe button. Set this to be negative 90 degrees to start. You can see it animating now. The properties pop-up is actually a dynamic list, so you can choose to say only see animated properties or reset to defaults, which is animated position properties and opacity. Number five, accurate motion paths. When selecting an object, a true representation of the path it will animate over is now drawn. This appears curved because the top property has an easing applied. Each dot represents a frame, so shorter animations will be more spread apart, longer animations will have more dots. Number six, bounce and instant timing functions. In addition to easing, Tumult Hype 1.5 now has a bounce timing function for some fun physics. It also has an instant timing function which will immediately transition on the trailing keyframe. Number seven, paste with animations. Copying an object will now retain animation information in the current timeline. To show this in action, I'll create a new scene and choose Edit, Paste with Animations menu item. You can see it animating just the same as the original scene. We've also added the ability to duplicate an object, which will copy all animations on all timelines for the current scene. Number eight, editable timecode view. You can now click on the timecode view to type in a specific time you would like the playhead to jump to. This can also be accessed through the animation menu or command shift T. Use the arrow keys to cycle through digits. Number nine, locking and visibility. This was another hotly requested feature for Tumbled Hype. With locking, elements cannot be selected or manipulated. For example, if I want to avoid the background when making a drag selection, I can click the lock icon, and then make the selection I was intending. Visibility toggles are for temporarily hiding elements. Note, if visibility is disabled, the element will not be exported. Number 10, smart selection behavior. We've improved the selection behavior such that if you select from the element list, this selection will be retained when you click on the same element in the scene, even if another item is actually covering it. Number 11, grouping. Grouping is a way of nesting related elements together. Simply select multiple elements and press the group button. Groups are elements too, so they can have their own animations. And dive into the group by double clicking. Here we'll give the nested element its own rotation animation, which you'll see will be compounded by the group's move animation.
Number 12. Rulers. Choose the View Show Rulers menu to get details on element positions within the scene. Number 13. Guidelines. You can drag alignment guides out from the rulers, or also choose to add them via the Arrange menu. Elements will snap to the guidelines just as they snap to other elements. Guidelines can also be duplicated into different scenes by using the Copy Guides and Paste Guides menu items. Number 14. Sweet Snapping. We've improved the snapping behavior in Tumult Hype 1.5 to account for resizing elements. We also snapped relative spacing, so if you have two items apart, a third will snap the same distance away. Number 15. Lion. We now support even more Lion features, including using Lion scroll bars where appropriate, autosave, and version so you can go back in time and bring an older document into the present. Number 16. Vertical layout. The main window can be reoriented vertically, which is used full force tall scene sizes or if you have a smaller screen. Number 17. HTML widget. Tumult Hype 1.5 has a new element type, which is the HTML widget. Under the hood, it's an iframe. This is useful for pasting web objects such as this Twitter widget. Alternatively, you can use it to display a page by entering a specific URL in the inspector. Number 18, Context Menus. We've added context menus throughout the application, which can be accessed by control, right, or two-finger clicking. A small bit of functionality also accessible is reloading inner HTML content. Number 19, Hex Color Picker. Tumult Hype now has an accessory view to the color picker, which lets you get or set colors as hex values. You can also enter web color names. Number 20, Compose Email Action. There is a new action in 1.5 which will create an email link. It accepts an email address, subject line, and a body. When handled, this will fill in those fields into the user's default email program. Number 21, Firefox 3D support. Firefox 10 now supports CSS3 transformations in 3D, so we've updated to hype to take advantage of this. Firefox 10 can now use swap scene transition, and older versions can use push and crossfit. Number 22, Customizable Element IDs. You can now set a custom DOM ID on an element instead of having Tumult Hype auto generate one for you. This can be leveraged from JavaScript's in or outside your document. We added an API to the Hype document for Get Element by ID, which is preferred to the JavaScript documents since this can handle ID collisions. We're leveraging this here to set the inner HTML of an element when the answer is correct. Number 23, Triggering JavaScript Event. Custom JavaScripts are now sent the triggering event, such as mouse downs or key ups. See this in action by replacing the correct string with the event. Number 24, Malform JavaScript Protection. If your JavaScript has a parse error in it, when exporting, Tumult Hype will alert you to this. Unlike previous versions, the animation will still run and load but the script will not be used. Number 25, smaller file sizes. We spent a lot of effort to reduce the sizes of exported files. A minimal document only requires three network connections and 41 kilobytes to load. Those are the main new features of Tumult Hype 1.5, but we've made other changes too. These include over 40 bug fixes, performance improvements to the app and exported document, updated browser warnings, new default document sizes, versioned exports to avoid conflicts on the same web page, and of important note, a few menu and keyboard shortcut changes. The first to learn is that preview has now been moved to the file menu. Also, the keyboard shortcut has changed from command equals to command return. Playhead navigation shortcuts are now more consistent. Moving a frame is command arrows, a second is command shift arrows, moving to the start or end is command shift option arrows. And that's the overview of what's new in Tumult Hype 1.5. You can learn more by visiting our website. We hope you'll like all the changes we've added to this version. Thanks for watching.